we've got the original artwork very very blurry photoshop version and then the free website so today i'm going to show you multiple ways to upscale your ai artwork to make sure that doesn't look pixelated and fuzzy so i'm going to be using some art that i created in mid journey right here on discord i um, highly recommend testing out this AI art generator it's really really cool what I will try and do is get this picture up here in the bottom right as high of a quality as possible to do that first of all we need to click upscale 4 because this is the fourth image um, in the row and then mid journey is going to take a little while to create that image on its own in high quality for us or higher quality i think the first version that it gives you is about 1000 by 1000 pixels which is not great but we're going to work it way higher up to like 8k in the end so stick around for that so here we go that's the first step done so i'm going to open this one in the browser and download it but another thing you can do right here in mid journey is you can hit beta upscale redo and what that's going to do is recreate this image in a higher quality it's not going to be the exact same design as this it's going to be similar but in higher quality I think it puts it out at about 2,000 pixels but even if you don't like the recreated artwork we can still use the the smaller or the original image right here and upscale that a lot in quality so here we go this is the upscaled version that we got from mid journey if we click on this it does look slightly different if you focus on the wheels for example or on the side panel of the car and if I click back on the original you can see it is a slightly different design but this image does have 2000 pixels so it helps a little bit with the quality being better however let's say you wanted to use the original image and upscale it you can do that in photoshop for example and the way to do it is you would first of all have to go to edit and then head down to preferences click on technology previews right here and then you want to make sure that this option right here is enabled the preserve details 2.0 upscale once you've ticked that box just hit ok then head up to image click on image size and now you can change the width right here to for example 8000 pixels make sure that the resample method right here is the preserve details 2.0 because a lot of these other options don't really work that well and also make sure that the noise reduction is turned up quite high because if it's lower as you might be able to tell the the noise is quite high there and it does look fuzzy so turn the noise reduction up and if we go to some sort of edge if you click on this preview window just click and hold you can see the before which obviously looks terrible when it's zoomed in this far and if you let go you will see the after so what it's going to look like once it's upscaled so let's hit OK. Now it is 8000 by 8000 pixels, this image, and it does look a lot better than before. Round the edges, just very smooth, especially if you zoom out now. This does look quite decent and probably would print quite well. So the alternative option to upscale your image is actually this free website right here, which is really, really handy. I will leave a link to that down below in the description. And essentially all you have to do here is just scroll down a little bit and where it says drop a file, drag and drop your file into here and then you can decide how much you want it to be scaled up so do you want it to be uh, two times as big do you want it to be four times as big we're going to do eight times just so it's around 8,000 pixels once again like we did in Photoshop so we can compare the two afterwards but essentially once you've decided that all you have to do is click submit it's going to upload your artwork and then do the upscaling fairly quickly right here and there we go that's loaded and now you can click download right here and it's going to open the artwork in a separate window we can then right click and save image as right and here we go i've opened all of these together in photoshop so we can do a comparison where should we do it let's do this top corner right here this is the original artwork you can see it is really really pixelated around the edges if you zoom in and if i hide that one this is the photoshop version it looks a lot better than the original if we compare it once again it does look a lot smoother but in my opinion if we hide the photoshop one now this is the free website i think that is an even better job um, it looks really crisp and this is photoshop this is free website and it just looks a lot more focused and actually really really usable in my opinion we zoom into a different section right here we've got the original artwork very very blurry photoshop version and then the free website so really really cool to see that you can upscale artwork that far 
and it looks quite decent in the end even though it started off at such a pixelated scale so i hope these methods help you upscale your artwork and making sure that it actually prints well if you want to learn how to create AI artwork in 4K resolution, make sure to check out this video next where I show you a tool that can do that from the start.